everybody. Like I said before, many times on my channel, Kansas Misfit, you never know what I'm going to post. And today's not an ordinary post, and it has nothing to do with me. But I'm not familiar with everybody who watches my channel. Uh, I'm still learning people and as they're learning me. And anyway, I don't know how many of you watch the Darman fan uh, videos on Facebook and YouTube. Anyway, one of the one of the movie stars actors on the show his name is uh Carl Duty. He's a black man, really nice looking fella. Uh, I guess he was 63 years old. Um so he wasn't young young, but he wasn't really that old either. Anyway, he he uh passed away on on Valentine's Day. And they they just showed uh, some of his videos that he played on, on Darman. And uh, just touched me because he was a pretty good actor. And I loved watching him act on some of the videos, on most of the videos that he played on. I mean, he was touching. And uh, I guess he left a daughter behind and I guess his wife. Don't know if they have any other kids, but it, anyway, it, I was just wanting to share the fact that he passed on, and and if anybody knew him, you know they know now through through, through me that he passed on Valentine's Day. Anyway, I didn't know about that until today. It's been a few days since then. Anyway, I also wanted to say, uh, on my new job I got at the grocery store, I, uh, I was working and this lady came through my line and we we're talking about chicken eggs and stuff. And I said, my chickens, she said her and her husband's the only one home, so she's going to cook dinner. And I go, just me and my husband. And I always cook too much. We have leftovers all the time. And then she said, they something or I said I don't like uh, having leftovers but I really don't have to worry about too much leftovers because we have chickens and they eat everything and then she said oh you have chickens I've got some pumpkins I want to get rid of if you want my pumpkins and I was like sure chickens eat pumpkins they eat everything you know so I, I asked her for her phone number address or whatever so I can get a hold of her after I got off work so make arrangements to go get those pumpkins well, anyway, I called her up this morning, <laughs> or this, yeah, this morning, I was going to say this afternoon, but it was this morning, and I asked her about those pumpkins still, and she said, yeah. So, we went grocery shopping, and then after we went grocery shopping, I called her up, I called her up and I told her that, you know, I was going to meet her at around 2 30 in the afternoon but we decided to do it earlier because we had other things we, he my husband wanted to do he wanted to cut some trees in one of our on one of our pastures so get it cleared out so there's more room for what needs to be there like the cattle and not all the trees the little shrubby trees in the way anyway so Made arrangements to go to her house from another Seneca, which is a little more out of the way. But we went there because we had to take care of business there anyhow. So we were swinging by her house to go pick up the pumpkins that she had saved back for us. And uh, ran out of gas on the highway. So I'm sitting on the highway and there's no shoulder. And it's uh, only two lanes and a hill. So here we are going up the hill, and the van dies right there, up the hill, like maybe 30 feet from the top of the hill. You can't see the traffic coming. And it's like, oh, this is not a safe place to run out of gas. I mean, we don't even know really where we were at, because neither one of us 
my husband and I. Neither one of us knew where we were at. We just knew where we were going because we had, uh, what do you call it? When you're lost and a GPS. We had everything on GPS and we were following. We were 1.7 miles away from our destination and ran out of gas. Well, we're going to have to take care of that a little better. Uh, we were just thinking about getting gas and never stopped to get it. So I guess it it pays to listen to our thoughts in, in our heads, you know, like intuition or the Holy Spirit telling us things. We have to listen to those things because when we don't, things happen. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And I mean, like I said, you never know what I'm going to post on Kansas Misfit. And when we get home... I was telling my husband, we need to get the chick chicken, get the food put away. We fed the chickens some of the pumpkins, which they really enjoyed. Um, I like I like the fact that we have those pumpkins to feed the chickens. So, and the lady that gave us a pumpkin said, well, why don't you come over in a couple of weeks and you can have some more pumpkins because she really has a whole bunch she wants to get rid of. So I guess in a couple of weeks, if we don't get gas, if we don't get gas first, we're in trouble. But we'll get gas, make sure we're full, and then we'll kind of out and, and go to her house, and then we can pick up some more pumpkins for the chickens. And that's interesting to know that I have a friend from, that I've never met before, just from work, <laughs> and uh, so we did that. And now we're trying to fix the sink in the kitchen. We got the plumbing and. The, all the uh, new faucet with the sprayer and everything hooking it up and then the the plumbing underneath the the what do you call it a catch all drain or whatever the little the two elbows come and it meets in the middle and everything gets stuck right there like if you lose your diamond ring falls down in the sink that's where it's going to be in the trap drain trap or something like that trying to get that fixed and something we lost something so that's where my husband's at. It's going to town to get parts to fix that. So then we have the sink back and I can be back in business taking care of business in the kitchen. Dishes and things like that. That can't do anything in the kitchen sink when you don't have a way of draining because it all just runs out of the pipes at the bottom. So we're going to get all that fixed up. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. Some exciting news, I guess. For us. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this and uh, smash the like button, comment whatever you like to comment, and um, you know a little bit of what's going on in today. Yeah. And if you knew Carl Judy, remember him and his family in your prayers uh, that God will help heal their heart. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Ta-ta for now.